Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, what we're gonna cover, we are going to talk about how to keep the trail elbow down. There's been a couple of questions about it on the channel, so I thought I'd do a video to help everybody out. First of all, when we go through everything that we're doing, when we're taking this club away, so we're taking the club away and we get to the top, and right here you can see that my elbow is down exactly like that okay so my elbow is down it's not an issue at all but how am i doing this see what happens what we have to understand the club is going to set like this and see when i set it like this how the shaft it's not coming straight up to me it's kind of laid off over facing on here it's going to look like it's going to my trail forearm okay but how am I doing this? Basically, if you take the lead hand and you've got your last three fingers, all I want you to do is to kind of go like this with those three fingers and you'll feel the three fingers with the pad of the hand here and you're just going like this, okay? That's all you're doing is you're going like this. Then with the trail hand, it's these two fingers and all you're doing is basically going like this with these fingers you're just going like this with your hand but it's really being done with the two fingers in the trail hand so it's the two fingers in the trail hand and the pad part of the trail hand that's going like this it's just going up so when i put them both together it's going to look like that here you're gonna be able to move the club just like that. So now, when we're making our swing, okay, everything's where it's gotta be, we're gonna go like this. Now, when we're going to get this club back over here, we're taking these three fingers of the lead hand and we're going like this, and we're taking the two fingers of the trail hand and we're going like that at the same time on this you know, inclined plane, if you will. So all of a sudden we're like this. And the second you do that with your hands, it will bring the elbow back into your body and it will keep the elbow down. So you're like, okay, oh wow, that's pretty good, nice. And then in the downswing, we are going to feel that same pressure in this set wrist that we've got, which again is placing the elbow to get it. Remember the elbow drill that I talked about? It's gonna keep that coming right to where it's gotta go every single time. But watch this. I went here, so I'm gonna do it like Hogan. There we go. And the second I'm going from here, really from about right there to there, this is being done with that part of the trail, the three lead fingers, these three, and then the two fingers in the right hand are the trail hand, so it's just going like that. And then from there, it's real easy for me to get right there. And that you're gonna feel, again, remember how we talked about the connection that you're gonna feel if you let that left arm move across your chest? Well, the same thing is kinda of happening because now, we're setting the, the wrist to match up with all these good things that we've already learned so we get right there. And that, that arm will be down because this setting of the wrist is kind of pulling the club from back over here to get it over here. Going backwards is what it feels like this way with the wrist set. So all of a sudden it's, aha. And then I've got these nice angles. Now I'm just gonna hold on to everything as I'm coming down and then I'll come right into the shot. So when we can see and understand the wrist set is nothing more than this, this. Now all of a sudden it's this. Now we've gotta add that over here. So it's just, there it is. There it is all day long. Okay, so the wrists go, the fingers are just going like this, keeping this nice good angle. Then as we come down, which this is, this is the really cool part about it because there's been a lot of people out there, you know, that are, oh, you can't turn, your, you don't roll your wrist down and you don't turn, 
you don't, you don't, you don't turn the wrist down. You don't roll the wrist down. Yeah, you do. Absolutely you do. Because if not, you'd never hit the ball. You wouldn't. Now, there's some of you that are going to be like, I don't know what you're going to do. But the point is, gravity and centrifugal force are what is actually making these hands go like this, okay? But if we can get this, these angles set in our hand, because the real pattern is this. You guys remember Mo where he talks about, oh, the vertical drop and the horizontal tug or whatever the hell he did. <laughs> Think about that. If it's a... Now we're talking about Mo for a second. If it's this horizontal move and it looks like Mo's going like this, right? Like he's throwing it up here in the air. But as he's going this way, gravity and centrifugal force pull that club down. And when that happens, watch what happens here. We get to the top. Now we're coming down. We're coming down. Look how this goes like that. The hands roll down, the forearm rolls this way. Now watch this, remember we got this set over here, so we've still got that angle, come to it. Now we're just getting the angle on the other side. And we've all seen, even in the book, where Hogan's got that look where it's like this. And as you can see, the, the forearms haven't rolled e over each other, they're just right there. Now I could do this a different way and go like that, and bring my forms back to you and you could see that they've rolled over but because of the way that we're holding this angle and then we're coming this way into it and we're getting that angle over there they haven't rolled over each other but from here it looks like they're crossing but i can assure you that they're not so the wrist set is just simply there here and back over on the other side so all we're really doing is we're setting it, and once you set it, you will feel how that elbow gets pinned to here. There's another drill that is going to help you not only to achieve this, but to keep the thing on the proper plane while you're doing everything. It has a lot to do with this wrist set. But what I want you to do, even though none of us are going to do this, I want you to put your left, your your lead thumb directly on top of the shaft. And then I want you to put your trail thumb directly on top of the shaft. This is a drill, this is not how we're gonna hit balls, but both lead thumbs are on top of the shaft. Pretty easy to see right now, right? So now with both of our lead thumbs on there, I still want you to feel that wrist set. Now from here, what I want you to do is to feel like your thumbs are going around your shoulder. They're not going wrist set above my shoulder. They are going wrist set. Now I'm going to keep that good angle and I'm going to work around my trail shoulder. And then when I'm coming down, I'm still going to feel like I'm working around my trail shoulder to come into the ball. So I'm not gonna get here and go around the trail shoulder and then this way. I'm not gonna go around the train tr uh, trail shoulder and come over the top. I'm gonna say, okay, I'm here. Now I'm gonna work in the opposite direction around the trail shoulder, around the trail shoulder, and then boom. Now some people are gonna say, Chris, you just dumped that underneath the plane. Whatever, guys. The bottom line is this is a drill. We're here. So I've worked around the trail shoulder with the thumbs. Now I'm keeping that good angle. Now I'm coming into the ball. Now I'm going to come right into impact. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So this is how we keep the elbow down because the elbow stand down as we move that arm across the chest, right? So now I'm right at the top, and I've done my rebalance move. Now from here, there it is. There it is. Wrist turned down. Now I'm gonna get it right up on the other side. Pretty simple to understand, guys. Hope that helps. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.